hey guys welcome back to the channel in today's video i'm going to show you how to find and use kaggle data sets for your data science projects whether you are a beginner or an expert kaggle of provides thousands of free data sets that you can use to practice machine learning build portfolio projects or even compete in kaggle competitions so if you've ever asked yourself where can i find the best data sets for practice how do i download and analyze data sets from kaggle or what are some interesting data set ideas for projects then this video is for you kaggle is not just for competitions it also has a huge data set repository where you can find real world and synthetic data sets on almost any topic you can use kaggle data sets for exploratory data analysis machine learning model building deep learning projects data visualization or academic research and personal projects Many Kaggle competitions also provide open data sets, which you can use even if you're not participating in the competition. Let us go step by step on how to find the right data set for your project. First, you need to go to kaggle.com and then you need to click on the data sets. Then over here, you can use the search data sets uh, bar to you know, search or look for any topic. For example, you can look for house prices, COVID-19, customer reviews or you can also download any trending data set like the spotify most popular songs ufo sightings um, music your recently viewed data sets uh, data sets based on some business computer science you can download anything then you can also apply some filters for example you can choose like the file size the minimum to maximum file size in mbs or file type such as a CSV file, a JSON, SQLite, BigQuery file, the licenses, what is the usability rating. The usability rating or the usability score means that higher the score, cleaner will be the data set. So you should go for a high usability rating. And then we have like the highly voted for like whether the data set is for learning purpose, research, application. So from here you can choose some data set filters then like after clicking on a data set you can like see the data set overview like what the data set is about like here we can see that it has some audio features which is extracted from spotify api then these are maybe the columns then we have the lyrics based features and all the data set overview then the file name is songs.cs 3.73 MB so this is the data set then in the code tab we have like data set notebooks like one person has submitted a data set notebook for this data set then we have the discussions tab or the suggestions tab and like this you can download a data set and one tip is that you should always check the usability score before downloading a data set the higher the score the better the data set quality now let us see how to download and load kaggle data sets so the first method involves manually downloading uh, the data set from kaggle to open jupyter notebook so let it open yes so we need to then uh, use a new python notebook and over here we need to first import pandas as pd then we are creating a data frame df and we'll use the function pd.readcsv and then we uh, first we need to copy the path the file path and then we need to paste it over here And let us use df.head and let me run the code. Now see our data frame has been uh, downloaded manually from Kaggle. So this was the first method. So the second method is using the Kaggle API which is a better method if you directly want to run uh, the code on uh, Jupyter or Google Colab. So for that what you need to do is first you need to open a Jupyter notebook. 
then I have already uh, written the code so just let me open that file yes so the first step is you need to write this uh, code pip install kaggle and then you need to run it so let us see since I had already uh, installed kaggle it is showing that requirement already satisfied so the next step is you need to go to kaggle.com then you need to download uh, the kaggle.json api key so for that you need to go to your profile and go to your profile over from over here then you need to go to your, the settings and from the settings over here you see the api so from here you need to click on create new token you can uh, click continue so it has downloaded the kaggle.json file so now you need to again go back to the Jupyter notebook and you need to uh, move the kaggle.json file to the correct directory so you need to run this code so let me run it yeah so the, it's showing that kaggle.json moved successfully then after that you need to download a kaggle dataset to download a dataset you have to find its name from kaggle so from over here you can find the name of the data set any data set you can take you can take this diabetes data set then you from here this is the name of the data set so you need to take this I have already take, I've took uh, this file I've took the Titanic data set so you need to write this Kaggle data sets downloads and over here you need to put the name of the data set so let me run this code yeah so it's showing this is the url and after downloading the data set uh, one thing is that in kaggle the data set gets downloaded as a zip file so we need to extract the zip file and for that we need to write this code let me run it okay so the zip file has been extracted then let me see what all files are there in the titanic folder okay so i found one file train and test 2.csv so i need to like uh, uh, load the data set in Jupyter so for uh, uh, after downloading and extracting the zip file what I need to do is I need to load it using pandas so for that I need to write this code import pandas spd then I'm creating a data frame in which I'm reading the file titanic train and t uh, test 2.csv and now let me see yeah so this is the data frame so this was the second method of downloading a Kaggle dataset using the Kaggle API. Here are some cool datasets you can use to build projects and improve your portfolio. For beginner friendly datasets, you can download the Titanic Survival Prediction, which is a classic ML dataset. Or you can download the House Price Prediction, which is a regression based dataset or the Iris Flower Classification, which has a simple ML model. For intermediate datasets, you can download the Customer Reviews Sentiment Analysis for NLP projects or the COVID-19 dataset uh, which is based on time series and forecasting or you can even download the Global Terrorism Database which, is, which can be used for geospatial analysis. For advanced datasets, you can use the Chest X-ray dataset uh, for medical deep learning, the Car Object Detection dataset for computer vision, or the stock market dataset for financial analysis. You should choose a dataset that aligns with your career or your project goals. For example, if you're into artificial intelligence for healthcare, you can work with medical datasets. Some common mistakes to avoid, not checking dataset quality. You should look at missing values and inconsistencies before working on any dataset. Then you should uh, not use the data set without performing exploratory data analysis you should always analyze the data before applying it to models you should not ignore the data documentation you should first read the description of the data set to clearly understand all the variables used and do not forget to cite data sources you should always give credit when using data sets for research or for projects Kaggle datasets are an amazing resource for learning data science and building real-world projects. Whether you're practicing machine learning, deep learning, or data visualization, there's a dataset for you. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like the video, subscribe for more tutorials, and share it with your friends. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.